Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. I'm pleasure to have you here with us for the festival. Can you kick off with a brief introduction? What can people expect from the film? It's called Nyad. It's about a woman who has an unbelievable dream that she doesn't want to give up. And after not swimming for 30 years at the age of 60, she starts training. It's not till her... She tried once when she was 28, and then that didn't work out. She became a pretty well-known sportscaster. And at age 60, she endeavored to realize that dream, and she swam another four times before making it on her fifth attempt. And really, the theme is never give up on your dreams, and you're never too old to achieve them. What was it about this story that just had to be told on the big screen? Well, I think first, Diana's personality is um, singular. Um, she is hard-nosed, no-nonsense, uh, and yet inspirational at the same time, uh, and someone who's, whose story really leapt off the page, especially once you actually met her and saw how, how charismatic uh, she was. Um, but there's also, uh, in addition to some of the universal themes, there's also a really beautiful story of friendship that um, developed between Diana Nyad and her best friend and coach, Bonnie Stoll, that um, really you've never seen on screen like this. Um, two women, 60s, best friends, lesbians, uh, joint at the hip in tackling life's up and downs and, um, and doing so in a way that I think is highly relatable but really exceptional. And obviously Elizabeth and Jimmy, you know, well, well rehearsed in, in sort of tackling feats, um, you know, whether it's free solo, whether the rescue, this is quite a different story to tell in the fact that it's a reenactment, um, but they handled it beautifully. What's so great about this, this pair of directors? Well, I mean, Jimmy and Chai are wildly talented directors. And, you know, to me, it was about seeing Free Solo. And the event of Free Solo is kind of amazing. But what really hooked me to the movie was that love story between Alex and his fiance, which I love. And this is, as Teddy said, it's a platonic love story between two people. So I was like, you know, if they can bring some of that magic that they obviously focused on shaped in the documentary, because that really was the beating heart of our movie. Because the events, the swim, but the heart of the movie is about friendship and all the trials and tribulations that go along with that. And, I mean, could you have had two better actresses to take this on? Annette Benning and Jodie Foster. I mean, and, and like you say, kind of having age-appropriate actresses as well take on these lead roles. Do we have a feeling that in, sometimes in Hollywood you get to a certain age and you're resigned to support and characters? Yeah, look, I think at a certain age in Hollywood, it feels like women of a certain age are, are resigned to certain characters. Uh, I think for us this was um, really a beautiful opportunity to just show how incredibly talented and special um, Annette Benning and Jodie Foster are, uh, in my mind, two of the best, if not the best, actors working today. Um, and uh, honestly, it was a real pleasure um, and treat and sort of career highlight to be able to work with them, um, their professionalism, their attitude, their dedication. Annette spent, you know, a minimum of 16 hours uh, in the water on a daily basis, trained for a year. Um, and always was the first and last on set with the largest of smiles just beaming when she got out at the end of the day and um, it was such a such a wonderful treat. I mean you know they basically they completely inhabited those two characters and literally their performances vibrated off screen. But it's a really special movie and like Diana I mean to me Annette and Jody are like so exceptional in these roles and as Teddy said just a joy to work with and so professional, but really, most importantly, gave it 150%. You know, Net swam for a year, but Don, um, Jody would train, and you'll see in the movie, she's got like six packs, big, a six pack. I mean, you know, Bonnie Soul's a trainer, so they're both super athletic women in real life, and it was just amazing to see how they transformed. And, and finally, you know, what do you hope people will take away? What an inspirational story. And also, it's never too late to go back and fulfill your dream. Uh, you said it best. <laughs> you said it best. Honestly, um, I think uh, we hope the story makes people laugh. We hope it makes them cry, makes them feel uh, the exceptionalism that's within each of us, and also the power of human connection and friendship. Uh, I, think it, I think it really has the potential to move a lot of people. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Really enjoy the night. Thank you.